As most people that have been following rumors and Spider-Man's journey MCU know, there's been one connective tissue that connects Spider-Man's best friend Ned to the comics, and that's the fact that his name is a direct connection and a reference to Ned Leeds from the comics, aka one of the Hobgoblins. There was heavy rumors that the original version of the third film was going to introduce Ned as the Hobgoblin, but that of course was scrapped. Now the cast reacts to this in a very interesting way. So when I reference the original version, I do kind of quickly have to go over the basics. Um, obviously, some of you that might be new or don't know what's going on or are just now discovering, you know, the scoops and the leaks and everything. Spider-Man No Way Home, the way we're getting it now, is not the original intended third outing. Originally, we were gonna get a completely different film with nothing about the multiverse, and it was heavily rumored and sort of at this point almost confirmed by leakers and things we've gotten confirmed that were correct at the same time, that eventually there was gonna be this angle where they were going to establish Ned as the Hobgoblin, or some version of a goblin, because they didn't necessarily want to follow exactly what was done in the previous films. Now, this rumor has persisted for a while and nothing has happened. Recently, when the cast was asked about this, they openly addressed this saying that if you watch Spider-Man No Way Home, that there are moments in this where you think that maybe he could be a little bit more sinister and evil than what we've seen before. Now, for those that aren't aware, and I'll just give you a quick history, in the comics, Ned Leeds is a different character. It's not his best friend, obviously, that's Harry Osborn. But in the comics, Ned is brainwashed and he becomes the Hobgoblin. And it's a completely different take on the character than what we've seen in cartoons and things like that. It's very complex. It's comics. It doesn't really ultimately matter to this. But I just want to kind of explain that. And there was this theory going on that in No Way Home, or the original version of No Way Home, that we could have seen that angle play out. Where he gets like kidnapped and then brainwashed and he becomes the Hobgoblin. Now, of course that obviously would have been scrapped entirely for this film. But at the same time, maybe they're teasing, and it seems like that maybe they're planting the seed of, well, Ned's not exactly the same character here, and he's a little bit more sinister and willing to do things a different way, that they could build up to that. Maybe in sequels. Maybe in something else. Maybe Sony's going to announce we're doing a Hobgoblin film starring Ned because it's not out of the realm of possibility, it's Sony. And I certainly don't believe that you can do the Green Goblin again. I mean, this is gonna be the third live action iteration of Spider-Man that uses the Green Goblin, although it's literally the first one returning and the second one, the less we say about him and the head in a jar, the better. So you probably want to distance yourself a little bit away. And maybe the whole Goblin thing could play a role into uh, the influence that Ned has. And Maybe there's going to be something in story terms that makes this a reality down the road. Again, we got to wait and see how they're going to play with the future of Spider-Man, but I would honestly be okay with this. I think there's something there that you could explore that's completely different than what we've gotten before. It's a little of a retread from Spider-Man 3, but again, I think you're handling it differently because of the whole angle of, well, Harry Osborn, the way he was handled in the films was a little different than how Ned is handled. 